Hello there guys and gals and welcome to a final High on Life video where this is going to be every single Luglock's chest plus all the trading cards as well. So basically it's two in one video. So now I do highly advise doing this basically at the end of the game so you get all the powers or the weapons plus grabbing all the jetpack upgrades which will be very important as well. Um, and again, like I said, all trading cards will be gotten throughout the uh, chest. So, well, let's crack on with it, shall we? Are we ready? Should we go ahead and collect all the Luglock's chests? Let's do it! And so we can begin then. So we're going to go in order. We're going to go from bl top Blim City all the way to the bottom. Um, now, so go to Nova Sanctus, Blim City first. We'll get, like I said, there's going to be 15 here. Now, what I am not going to be doing, I won't be providing a whole lot of commentary now for the sort of um, rest of the collectibles. The only time I'll pop in is if it's any under, sort of any under, uh, any under special circumstances, that's what I was trying to say, um, in terms of something that we may have to buy, i.e. which I'll show you in a minute, the jetpack upgrades, which we are going to desperately, well, we will need, especially for the uh, jungles and stuff like that. Um, I'm just starting off back with the homies. Just to um, sort of, you know, start off a bit of, um, you know, knowing just exactly where we are. But for the most part then, as we head to the right first, the collectibles are pretty much sort of gathered in one place. There's nothing that's really too missable or, you know, really difficult to get to as long as you've got the proper upgrades. So that is why, uh, for now, I won't be providing any commentary because following, hopefully, anyway, hopefully following the <laughs> collectibles guide here, should be sufficient enough in order for you to just grab everything. Um, obviously, we'll be using all four guns. Ag again, this is obviously highly advised to do all of these um, after you've completed the game, purely because we will have all the upgrades, everything unlocked, plus all the weapons, so it just makes it a hell of a lot easier for you. Um, so, yeah, well, I guess I'll pop back in a second when we need something. But again, hopefully I've done this collectible guide in such a, you know, a decent enough way and the, the pacing of it is nice and fast but slow so you're not having to pause every two seconds and hopefully it's just nice and straightforward and smooth um, that the commentary will not really be necessary. So, uh, well, if it's terrible, please let me know and then uh, I guess I'll stop doing collectible guides. Whoops. Well, I was really hoping it was this inside. You there, how about some, uh, food? <laughs> hey, yo, discerning customer, would you be interested in some quote-unquote food? I built a huge town. This town is giant. We got buildings. We got what a great reward we just got. Banks. Problem is, we ain't got people. I built. There's my favorite party. Not mine. Offering everybody a complimentary can pizza to come and see. I leave a note in case the owner comes back. Right. So then, for this next part, what we are going to need, what we definitely will need, is a jetpack upgrade. Now, I'm just going to show you as we swing here. Of course, you should already have, obviously, the mag boots. If you're doing this after the game, you should have the mag boots and the jetpack. You know, absolutely everything. So, we're onto the old Lord Crust building. So, we need to fly up. Fly up onto his crown. And this is where you're going to... This is where you'll see where we need the... Um, the uh, jetpack upgrades. Because it's all the way on the left-hand side. Uh, on the right-hand side, just on top of that truck. And as you can see, because I've got no upgrades... I physically cannot get to that point. So, well, there's only one thing for it then. Again, we should have plenty of money in terms of, again, if you're doing this sort of after the game, etc., etc., uh, you should have plenty of money by now. You know, at least eight, nine, ten thousand pesos. Um, but we are going to be heading to uh, Mr. Keep's Pawn Shop. You know, the old, the, the old saggy, <laughs> saggier, chunkier Zoidberg from Future Armor. And the ones who, well, he, he kind of looks like he'd be uh, taking all the uh, benefits away from every American. Um, I'm just joking. Uh, not American, just alien. So anyway, <laughs> let's head to Mr. Keep's Pawn Shop. And again, these jetpack upgrades are going to come in mega handy, especially for the jungles later on. So when it says Bounty Hunters then, 
You can obviously you can get more health if you want the slide bash unit, which will come in mega handy as well for the environmental kills for the forum, the mods please ban achievement. But what we're gonna need to get is the kinetic tank here, the jetpack booster, and I believe there is another jetpack booster as well. So all in all, I think it costs about seven or eight thousand pesos, something like that. Uh, so a couple of kinetic tanks there. Oh, what those and what the. As you can tell, my mass is fantastic as always. Three, four, five. So it's about five, five and a half thousand pesos that'll cost you. But make sure then that you've got the jetpack booster and the two um, other jetpack units that we uh, should have bought. And when you can do when you do that, then we can go back and obviously grab that one that we couldn't grab before. Now I've only showed you this just so you're aware of uh, what actually to buy and what you what you do need. Um, again, you can buy this from any shop in any location, but of course, since we need it here, that is exactly what we're going to do. And it just, oh, it just makes your life so much easier. So do the same thing again then. Jump up, jump up and get down. Jump, jump, jump. It's lovely. Remember to pr uh, tap down on the D-pad if you're hovering too much and you want to get down so you can just move on. Like now. <laughs> and then we wait and we wait. And nobody's coming, damn it! Right, there we go. So this time, we can now shoot the car when it pops by with the right bumper, of course, for Sweezy. Again, if you're playing this after the game, doing this after the game, you should you should know exactly how to do that by now. And this time, we'll have a nicer and easier way over. Pop! There we go. So now, we should be able to make it without any issues. Again, don't take the mick with it, but, you know, just glide yourself over lovely, and there we go. So, that's it then. So, again, I will leave you for now, because the rest are in nice locations, nice and easy just to follow along with. And jump over to the Lord Crest building, which I forgot to do, but it's okay, because we need to get back up there anyway. But uh, that's fine, that's fine. I want to stop everything, you know, that's happening uh, for you. I don't care about you. Sweezy's on top! You good, Bounty Hunter? so far.
So there we are then, peeps and peeps. All 15 in Blim City done. But one more thing I should say, well, what I'll be doing is, this time around, we're going to start heading back to the portal because it's easy to find in Blim City. But from the next area onwards, I'll be editing it down, editing it down slightly so that we end up in the house ready to go next. Uh, ready to go to the next area rather than having to backtrack or forward track trying to find the portal home. In most cases, if you have finished collecting all Luglock's chests in an area, just keep heading forward and a portal you will see very soon, or just go back to the start of the area in the video to see where you came out of as a little memory refresher. So again, that's just to make it easier rather than you watching me walk around trying to find an exit for 10 minutes, which I did, uh, I don't want to admit it, but I did more than once. Um, so... <laughs> Nova Sanctus, let's head to the slums. There's going to be 26 in the slums. So again, like I said, hopefully I've paced the video well enough so that you can keep up and that the um, the sort of route is not too confusing for you. Again, hopefully it is not, and we're all good. It wasn't very hard to find, was it? Aren't you glad you listened to me? What's in there? No, I'm what not shooting this one. Actually, wait. Don't tell me. I don't want to be disappointed. I just hope you...
be needing this.
God, fuck the G3. Let's save these humans, you know? Ta-da! So that's that one done then, and like I said, through the magic of editing, we are back at the house. So of course, obviously pause. You would probably pause the video now just to get head to a portal and get back home. Otherwise, when we are back home, where are we going to be heading next? Oh, what a secret, what a surprise. Uh, but what we are going to be doing is actually heading straight now to the Zephyr Paradise, into the Deep Jungle. So these are the uh, longest sets of collectibles in the game, really. Uh, just in terms of they are quite spread out and one other thing I should mention here is as we're going through the deep jungle here you will we will actually be collecting three chests for the upper valley uh, for some reason the, the chests are close together but three of these at least count towards the upper valley level rather than the deep jungle so I don't know how and I don't know why maybe they've done it for a laugh but who knows but anyway I will obviously be letting you know exactly what chests they are and when to collect them. So once you've collected that one, then you don't have to collect that one again in the upper valley level. So yeah, crack on for now. Nice to see you again, partner. You've been hiding from me. Right, so after you kill these crab monsters then, we are going to get the first one for the upper valley. And this is the chest. So once we get this one, you'll see that it says... Now, on your screen, it'll say 1 out of 34, because that is classed as an upper valley collectible, rather than the jungle one that we are currently in, weirdly enough. So make sure that you've collected that chest right there. So that'll be 1 out of 34 for the upper valley, which is the next area. And then we can just crack on then as normal by sticking up Gus up there and grabbing this one, which counts as the level that we're currently, the, the, the level that we are currently in. So I don't know how and I don't know why, but anyway, that's that. So make sure you grab those two chests right there. One for the upper valley and the second one here for the jungle outlook. Or whatever the, whatever the hell it is that we're in. And then crackle on.
Right, so we are coming up to the second chest, uh, and it is in that container right there, which counts towards the upper valley, rather than the ones we are currently going for. So again, not sure why that is, but it just is, so you'll need to get Creature out, just stick him, stick your little blue ball, uh, blue ball, blue ball straight in the container, if you can. That's going to open up the way, that will open up the container for us, and again, that will count as the second chest for the upper valley. When I, when we come to the upper valley, I will again let you know that that is, um, one chest that we do need, just in case somehow you've missed it. Uh, but again, I know it says 1 out of 32 on my screen right now, but there was a little bit of editing from earlier on. So you should now be on 2 out of 32 there for the upper valley already. Hey, come on by if the mood strikes you. Hey, friend, can I help you? Change your mind. Looking for something, friend?
Okay, and then we're going to be coming up to the third chest for the upper valley. Again, there's only three that you can, I think there's more if you wanted to, but there are three that count towards the upper valley in this area. So as we go to the left here, go to this container just behind it. This is where the third technical one for the upper valley is. So when we uh, go to begin the upper valley, you will have three basically for free right there. So uh, that should be good. Now the rest we can just crack on with. One other thing I should mention as well is... Now, remember for the warp crystals, uh, we need 31 to buy all warp, uh, warp discs off Bloto uh, in Blim City. Now, you will get quite a number of these. Um, obviously, you would have had at least, at least 10, 12, 13, maybe even 14 uh, in the game. Uh, the chest is behind you, by the way. It's, it's actually on the, uh, on the little walkway up here. So, I do apologize about this bit. There it is. Uh, but you should have got that from the game anyway. You will get quite a few from chest as well. But I do highly recommend any time that you do come up to any uh, warp bases that are incoming. If you've got to shoot all the enemies dead. Uh, just try and pick up as many warp crystals as you can. Don't just ignore the enemies. Shoot the enemies dead. Pick up the warp crystals until you have at least 31. As soon as you've got 31, uh, that'll be enough to get all the warp discs ready for that achievement later on. The scene all the sights achievement. And then you can just crack on. But like I said, just keep going with all the warp crystals until we get 31. Ah, oh, there's one, but I can't grab it. Yeah. Hey, uh, thanks for sticking with me, Bounty Hunter. Y you are sticking with me, right? I I'm just assuming you're still on my side. But maybe you just need me around to kill Garmantuous and then that's it? God damn it, I knew it. You fucking hate me. You're so quiet. You don't say anything. I I'm freaking out, man. believe we were taking on the G3. You know how long they had me captive for? And I was chipped. I couldn't talk at all. Can you imagine that? Me not talking? That's that... Technically a symbiotic species, it seems like we evolved to fit right in the hand of most other aliens. It's, it's pretty convenient, right? I bet you think it's too convenient, maybe. Well, guess what, asshole? There's an infinite amount of planets out there.
somebody's here. Oh my god. I, I, I got a store. You can buy stuff. Come come check me out, please. Hey, you 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 gotta you gotta buy something, please. I'm fucking dying here. Hey hey you yeah hey, hey you yeah please 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 come over here. I'll I'll do anything. Thank you so much. This is so exciting. I'm literally gonna call my dad right now. Tummy grumble three times. I know. Let's call it the G3. Or, you know what I mean? So you probably would have seen a warp base there. Again, like I said, remember about the crystals. Uh, make sure to kill all the enemies just to grab a couple of crystals until we get at least 31. Otherwise, that is 34 out of 34. And by the power invested in me, ah, we're back home. Once you have got all of the crystals, uh, all the chests in the area. So next, let us go now to, again, Zephyr Jungle and the upper valley. Now remember, you should have already, I know it says two there for me, but you should already have three out of 32 there for the upper valley. I showed you the three chests which counted towards the upper valley, so hopefully you've got those three, so we only need 29 to collect. Uh, this does take roughly about the same time um, as the last area that we just done, purely because they are quite spread out. Um, but otherwise, it is, everything's pretty much effectively quite straightforward. So, enjoy.
So then we are, you should have already collected these next two, um, but I will just show you, of course, again, just in case. So there's the one just behind this container right here. And then if we just go slightly to the right, you're going to see the container once again, which should house the next one. Remember, these two we collected in the last area, um, but for some reason they counted towards the upper valley. So again, if you needed to, uh, obviously chuck a creature in. And then collect them both. But again, if you've been following the guide so far, you would have had those two, plus the third upper valley chest as well, which for some reason is counted um, seemingly in the wrong place. Otherwise, let's crack along. Am I, I, I get a little self-conscious. It's just, you know, you're always holding me up and right in front of you and, oh, God, I always worry about that. I mean, am I, like, I don't want you to get too tired from holding me or anything.
Yeah, yeah, no big deal. I can slow down spinning that way. It's easy for me.
Now then, this is going to be the last one, so you should now have 32 out of 32 after you've collected this one. Um, obviously, you're going to see me, mine on screen says 31 out of 32, but again, I, we obviously collected the upper valley chest in for the last area, so that should be that one, 32 out of 32, now complete for you, and then, ba -ba, we're back home. So, let us crack on, and we're going for the last area in the Zephyr jungle, which isn't nearly as annoyingly and confusing. It is the jungle clearing this time, so 28. Again, it's going to take a little bit less time, so but it is not nearly as confusing or spread out as the last set. But again, you know the drill by now. Any war bases you come across, uh, just keep killing all the enemies until you get at least 31 crystals. All the trading cards you will get, apart from two that we need to buy in Blim Shop. And um, yeah, that's it.
fine if you don't like using it. I don't feel emotions very well, so it doesn't really hurt. It does kind of tickle for some reason, though. Oh, amazing! I didn't know we were just allowed to leave. Triple. Sorry for getting upset about it. Here we go! Why are you even using me? Ooh, what is it? And finally, then that is going to be the last one of the jungle! Hooray! Right! Now we are going to go to Port Terrine and we're going to be doing Dreg City. So basically we've got three more uh, sort of main areas left to do and these luckily are a lot more compact oh four sorry so we've got four left including Nippilon's office so there's so as you go into Dreg City here um, there's 36 which is the most of any area but because the um, area itself is quite compact quite condensed uh, it's very easy to uh, grab them all very very quickly rather than it being spread out as it was 
Now, the other thing with Dreg City is we are definitely going to need, if you haven't got it already, uh, as I said earlier, the jetpack, all of the jetpack upgrades, which there should be three purely because this is very, um, we need to be going straight up, very vertical a lot, this level is. So we are definitely going to need all the jetpack boosts. Um, otherwise, that is it again. Otherwise, everything, once again, as usual, is pretty straightforward.
What? You're here to make fun of me? Right, okay, with this guy, all we all you gotta do is just keep shooting at the wall. You don't have to aim in any particular direction, just keep shooting at the wall with your glob shot straight up Kenny's trick hole. Um, and then eventually he's gonna say, Oh, hell yeah, dog. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't know what the hell he was supposed to be shooting at, but... Well, anyway, he finally moves out the way, and the warp crystal is ours. My species gets really rebellious right before we die.
Uh, we're coming up. Spin slide cycle your way to the last one, and that is Dreg Town finally done. So that potentially was a little bit more confusing, purely due to the fact there was obviously loads of buildings and stuff in the way, but let's head home. There we are. Hi, everyone. Back in the house while Gene sits with the old chunky gut. The entirety of the game, that's very impressive so far. All right, otherwise, we're off to Big Nip Nip's office now. Old Nipplehead. Uh, there's only eight in here, so it is very nice. So again, poor Tareen. Nippilon's office, there's only eight. This is literally going to take us about three or four minutes. So, uh, yeah, there's no nothing too special about this one. Obviously, when we do get to the bottom, we will have to come all the way back up to the top in order to get back to the portal. One That is one gripe that I do have about these uh, areas. They, they, we should be able to pause the game and maybe just head back home ourselves, or there should be more portals dotted around rather than in just one goddamn location. But, <laughs> what am I? I'm not an expert in game making, of course. I just play the things. We're just rifling around in your guts real quick. Hee <laughs> hee All right, cheers, big nips. We are all done. This is eight out of eight. So again, nice and easy, only a couple of minutes. And now we've got two main areas left, and then we have to collect another six from unmarked locations. Woohoo, spooky. Right, so, uh, while Gene's just watching a hippo of some sort, I don't know. Now we are off to Old Town. Again, this is another nice area, to be honest. Uh, everything's quite... There you go, Port Terrain, straight to Old Town, 27 to collect. But... Uh, it is quite compact. Everything's nice and, um, you know, nothing's too spread out. What I will say is, in terms of the Mods Please ban achievement, at the, again, at the time of recording, I needed to kill 60 Greebles. You know, the things that roll in the ground and try and uh, shoot at you when they pop up. But none appeared for me at all anywhere. So this is where the glitch, for me personally, comes in anyway. So hopefully the patch will fix it and you will have to deal with those enemies again. But again, at the time of recording... There is nothing, so, um, well, just enjoy grabbing all 27. <laughs>
sight. That's it. Hide it in plain sight. Well, now there goes my treasure. Dang it! You know, your hole's just not as much fun as you might think.
so glad we found this. Chasing me for no reason, and they're gonna kill me unless somebody intervenes! Finders keepers! That's the end of that chapter. Right, 27 out of 27 done. Now we are home. Once more, we are going to go for the final one. Seems like it's been a while, hasn't it? But uh, we're almost there. So, last but not least then, Port Serene and to the outskirts. Now there's 16. These are a little bit more spread out. Uh, so this is probably going to take around 10 minutes or so again, potentially. Uh, maybe 8 to 10 minutes. Uh, and there is only one. The last collectible chest that we're going to grab is covered in sandworms so when you're walking along the dangerous path a sandworm might attack but again i'll show you if if that does happen um i'll show you exactly where to go anyway so don't panic otherwise yeah it, again it's the out out skirts yeah yeah out out um so again just follow exactly where i'm going and let's grab these last 16. <laughs>
Right, so for the last two then, now we are coming up to Sandworm area. So this first one, you should be fine. Um, we're going to grab this one here. It's on this kind of like little platform. Um, but the next one, what we're going to do, so there's number 15. So what we do from here, you can see a little platform just in front of us. What you would do is go straight ahead, climb up, and then use the rope to slide down. Turn around and on the rock is the uh, last one. But if you did get caught... By a sandworm turn to the right and head there's another little platform as you where you spawn turn to the right and you'll see this platform that we're on with another rope sliding down so slide down into the sort of middle there's basically three platforms with wires going down each one so as we head down into this middle of the three uh turn around and on the rock just behind you there it is it is right there so again if you do get caught by the sandworms like i done twice just head for one of these platforms, and this is where the final one is. But of course, it's not the final Luglox chest in the game. So, a few more things that we've got to do. Hooray! But we are almost there. So first of all, there is one, actually, on the Gatlas planet that we're on. So as we head down, 
and outside. What we're going to do is actually, you should turn to the right and you're going to see a horse statue in the distance. Head towards that horse statue to grab the uh, Luglox chest. But for some reason, what I do is decide to head to the left um, and go the completely long way around, which is basically my life. So instead of doing things nice and easy, I decided to do it hard. And that's not even a pun this time. <laughs> My life is so hard. Right, so anyway, there is the horse statue directly in front of you. So you're going to need to be quick. So, of course, as long as you've got the slide unit, this shouldn't be a problem. Just slide all the way and then sprint as quick as you can. Grab this lug blocks chest. You will die, but that is fine. Just fine. It's fine. And that is the Gatterall compartment done. Now, what are we going to do? So the five... Remaining ones are in the warp disc locations. Now remember, you should have at least, providing you've been following the guide, you've gotten all the chests up to this point, and obviously you've got them through warp bases and everything, you should have at least 31. That is exactly how much we need. So, we're going to head to Nova Sanctus, back to Blim City now. Again, I've waited to do this until the very end, just because I knew there was a lot of warp crystals in uh, these Luglox chests. So... Let's head to Bloto, who's basically Zoidberg with a... Who doesn't speak like this? That's a terrible Zoidberg impression, I'm very sorry. So anyway, uh, have a little chat with Bloto, and then what you're going to see is a, a, a quote-unquote food list price. Just buy all the warp discs you can. Again, you should have at least 31, so you should be able to do this. If not, just head back to the Zephyr jungle in the upper valley, and... Or the deep jungle? Uh, well, one, I think both of them have quite a lot of warp bases. So if you don't have enough, just head there. Head to those two locations in the Zephyr jungle. And you should uh, be able to... And then just keep going back and forth from the pole until you've got enough warp crystals. But again, providing you've been following the guide, you should have more than enough warp crystals. And you should be good to go. Uh, there may be a little bug as well. When you buy the last disc there, the Quiet Cottage... Uh, sometimes it'll act as if it hasn't been bought, but just have a look in your inventory, uh, just to make sure that you've got all of the warp discs. When you have, what we're going to do is actually head to Mr. Keep's shop. But now we are going to actually get the final two trading cards. The other Luglox chests that we need to grab don't have trading cards in them, so you can only get them from this shop. So, there's the first one then, Galaxy's Goofiest Gift, number nine, Cup of Pea. That's always, uh... It kind of looks tasty in a disgusting kind of way. And then if we head the other side of the shelf, you will see the final one. Now, what happened for me, and it'll probably happen to you too, the new you, is that the achievement won't actually unlock. So, if the achievement doesn't unlock, again, all of the trading cards are in Luglox chest apart from these two. So, once you grab these two and the achievement doesn't unlock, just completely quit out of the main menu. So, again, just make sure that you've got them here in the cards. If you have completely... Quit out to the main menu in the game, and then continue, and the achievement then should unlock. That is if it doesn't unlock for you straight away, which it didn't for me. So again, quit out to the main menu, continue, and the uh, achievement for grabbing all of the trading cards will unlock. So when, when we have done that, and that's all finished, we can now head. All we need to do now is find one of the... You've probably seen it a few times, the like long blue light. Uh, you've seen it in the outskirts, uh, we've seen it in the upper valley as well. Uh, they are the warp disc locations, and that is exactly where we are heading. So, onto the Bounty 5000, Zephyr Paradise, into the Upper Valley. Uh, now, these are kind of like, they're just sort of like easy little puzzles that you've got to do, apart from the pipe puzzle, which, the pipe puzzle peed me off, quite frankly, um, <laughs> because it seemed to be even trickier than the ones that we're doing for Dr. whatever his name was, uh, for the Douglas Bounty. So, from the portal then, what you're going to do, you can see it in the top left-hand corner right there. So, that is all that we're going to be heading for. So, slide, baby, slide. Disco Inferno. Slide, baby, slide. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. I sound like a cat's been thrown against the wall there, don't I, to be honest. All right then. So, to grab the last couple of Luglox chests, what we're going to do is head to the skate park one. Now, of course, you're going to need to do all of these warp discs anyway for the achievement called Seeing All the Sights. But for the, uh, just, just the Luglox chests, we're just going to focus on that one for this one. That one for this one. So, heading into the skate park, what we're going to do is go ahead and speak to 
three teenagers who just wanted to be a teenager. And the way we're going to do that then, we're just going to um, do some skateboarding, but we have to get 42,000 points at least in order to complete it and get the lug locks chest. Now the easiest way to do it, you can literally just keep spamming the A button and keep spinning around. Uh, that is enough to get you more than 42,000 points. Or you can do what I've done here and I was just spinning around, pressing. So spamming the left bumper, spamming the A button and spinning around all at the same time. Now that, that was enough to get me about 45,000. But they are the two easiest ways. Um, but the easiest way for you is probably just keep jumping up and down and spinning. And that will probably, that should easily get you the 42,000 points required. And... The Luglock's chest of life. And that's all we need. Hell yeah, are you a teen because you skate as good as one? In that case then, I was never a teen because I sucked absolute nutbags. Uh, for skating and doing anything good at all. Or anything talented. Anyway, once we have done that, we've got that Luglock's chest. The last three remaining ones then, luckily for us, are very easy. So we need to go to the quiet cottage. You bet your sweet buns it ain't gonna be quiet because you're just about to collect, uh, c commit Luglock's chest genocide or a triple murder at least. Um, so just go straight forward, kill the uh, how do I say this? The Luglock's child chest, the daddy and the mother, and that will be all of your Luglock's chest complete. Plus with the trading cards, like I said earlier. Um, if you collect the two from Blim City, make sure to just quit completely, quit out, go back into it, and the and that should unlock. And there we go then, guys and gals. So that is all Luglock's chest complete. And now we've just got the Mods Please Ban achievement to do, which hopefully they will patch that soon. But thank you so much for watching, guys and gals. I hope you found this video helpful. I will see you in the next one. Big love.